What's up, YouTube? And Happy New Year! My name is Spade, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Here's to hoping that the next year will be better than 2020. So, again, thank you everybody so much for uh, a fine rest of the year that I was back here on YouTube. Really appreciate all the support. You guys made my year a little bit better. This YouTube thing has definitely helped me uh, take my mind off all the things going on in this crazy world right now. So thank you again for all the support, all the love. I really, truly do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and uh, do some uh, battles, shall we? I uh, got this kind of a Christmas team. Uh, from Big BM on my uh, Discord server, so I, I thought I would uh, give it a spin. It's a uh, it's not as Christmassy as the previous Christmas team that I used, so I thought it would be a fun team for the uh, New Year here. So here we go. First problem, though, <laughs> no ground types. <laughs> Let's lead with Choice Benedictini. Go from there, as he leads with Crocodile. Hmm. To me, this looks like uh, Moxie Scarf, right? Although he could go for... Hmm... What I don't like is he's gonna go for... Knock Off. And I'm gonna lose a useful item. I mean, even this Klefki would be useful against the Chansey. Uh, and the Hatterene. I don't want to lose anything. I guess it's gonna have to be Whimsicott. Yep. Goodbye! Um... No point to Moonblast. I don't think he's gonna stay in. Just gonna U-turn as he goes into Latia. Latias is a switching? I mean, Moonblast was stabbed, so... I could've just gone for that. Can you one-shot? I'll activate my uh, guts. And he's leftovers. Okay, I'll certainly live one hit. And... I think knockoff is relatively safe. As he goes into Hatterene. Okay. And I can go for Facade. Now. I'm gonna do it. There's nothing you can do about it. Knock you out. But then he's probably gonna go into Regieleki. Yep. Can I take a hit? Um, I don't think so. Well, I have no switches. Whimsy God, maybe. Okay, let's use Whimsy God. Although, man, if I got like lagging tail on this thing, phew, that would have been amazing. But I don't, so I'll have to give him the switch initiative. Can I take his, uh... Can I take his leftovers? I don't want you to have leftovers. Goodbye! Um, then... I think I'm gonna go back into Obstacoon. Knockoff is free. If he goes into Crocodile, he's most likely Scarf. So I'll get rid of it. And I'm faster than him, too. That is amazing. Um... No point to do anything else. Just gonna go for a knockoff. Deal with this uh, Latias. But in comes the devil himself. Obstagoon could still be useful against like uh, Among Us and Chansey. So do I wanna? I guess I can go into Klefki. Might as well. He's gonna wall switch. He specs. This thing has definitely some investment in special defense. I don't know if that's max. Might actually be. So... Specs Regieleki... And... No Scarfer, no ground types. Oh wait, this thing is Scarfed. Right? Yes. But it's not faster, so... Hmm... Do I want a spike up? He's gonna... I mean, this time he might just go for the EQ. 
Yep. And then he should go into Among Us. Oh, Chansey. I guess that works. I want to trick you. I want to trick you. Go for the switcheroo. Yes, I get the Violet. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. And I don't like your specs. Don't like it. You can have that. I don't need it. So there we go. Specs is gone. Which is great, because then... Hopefully... Hmm... I don't think Obstagoon is able to take one hit, so I think I have to go into Rotom. And then... Do I trick the Among Us so it's not an issue? Or is he going to go for... Is he going to predict me to go for the Vault Switch again and stay in? I think I can afford to Hydro Pump as he goes for the knockoff. Yes. Because if he does that, it works. And if he goes into Mungus, I still have Obstacoon, so... But now I lose another Mon that would be able to take a hit from this uh, Reggie Eleki, so... I think Rotom has kind of filled its purpose, so... Good job, buddy. Go down. And... Among Us. Do I go into Chandelure? No. Victini gets me a kill. Right? But then he's gonna go back into Regieleki. Hmm. But I get a kill here, so... I'm gonna knock out the Among Us. Then I'm gonna sack the Obstagoon. Right? Because then I get to go into... Yeah, I, I, I think this is alright. And I get to go into Victini again, and he needs to make a choice. I'm pretty... 84. Can I take a Thunderbolt? Without the specs? I sure hope so. Nope. He's gonna switch out. Goes into Chansey. <laughs> And he has no Eviolites, so he gets completely destroyed. Um, which one is better? I feel like at 84 I could take a hit. Hmm. But Shandor is at full health. Although Victini has better natural bulk. Base 100 everything. This is below 216, 236, I don't know, uh, 285 HP left. Victini has more HP and more defense, so I think the answer... I need to... Special defense, 217, yeah. I think the answer is going to be Sack Chandelure. I live with 12. So, that means that I should be able to live with Victini. Because Victini has still more uh, HP left currently than Chandelure has in total, and I have also more special defense, so... That's how math should work. And it does. Thank goodness. No crits, no nothing, and that is a game! Boom! Now that was fun. Mono trick. Definitely was fun uh, tricking that Chansey, so, uh, you know, I was kind of thinking, like, why run Toxic Orb trick over, like, uh, Toxic? But, um, it definitely works in this kind of situation. With Chansey running around, so. Oh dear, every, everybody's running uh, Reggie Alecki. This, this is, like, the worst time to run this team, because Reggie Alecki just dropped to the UU a little while ago. 
But, you know, this is a gimmick team, so, like... No issues there. I knew what I, what I was uh, getting myself into. I think he's gonna leave with Reggie Alecki. Because he sees no ground types. Nope! I need to trick him. That's, that's it. I need to trick him. I'm gonna get a little bit of damage. Okay. Or actually, I'm not. Because if he goes for Flare Blitz, I have the lagging tail, so I'll go last, so... How do I deal with this? Hmm, he's gonna... I can try to go into Obstacle, but then I would lose my item again. I'll go into Rotom. and I'll probably get knocked off. Yep. So that sucks. I'm gonna Vault Switch because he has a... has the Among Us, so... But he could just stay in, but... Among Us is kind of calling card to uh, Rotom, so... Do I get a kill with uh, Victini? And did he have Intimidate? Yup. So I might not be able to get a kill. So do I go into Obstagoon? I actually want to go into Obstagoon so I can activate my uh, Guts here. So later on when this Among Us comes in, it's gonna, not going to be able to do its uh, shenanigans, so... Mm, knock off to play it safe, then maybe if I get knock off on the Incineroar, I might still be able to knock him out with the uh, close combat, so I think that's a good plan. Maybe I should have gone straight for the close combat. Nope. I don't want to get risky here. There we go, he switches out, goes into Skarmori, that's great! I get rid of his uh, rocky helmet. Nice. Do I want to switch a Roo? That. I mean, would it be nice to get a get a rocky helmet from him? But I could still burn this Skarmori, and that could be useful in the long run. Uh, let's actually do that. There we go. A Christmas gift from me to you, in the form of Flame Orb, as he goes for Tailwind. That is rarely seen in the uh, singles, because it only lasts for like three turns after you use it. There you go. You only get three turns, and now you have a Skarmori that's burned. Do I wanna... The guys just wanna go for knockoff. I mean... He's burning everything. Although I guess I could get his item back. Would he attack me? Do I want to go into Wimsigod? No. I kind of want to switch a Roo so I can... You know, I, I, he is burned, so... <laughs> Maybe I can trick something else. <laughs> nice. Um, he's burned. I'm going to go into... My clef key here. And uh, hopefully. Hmm. I could get up a spike, but this is kind of why I wanted to get Obstacle in early. So I can avoid this spore right here. And. I think I'm just gonna go for knockoff once again. If he goes into Skarmori, that's fine. I get a crit. I can still trick later on. Go into Klefki and set up a spike. He might want to go for uh, Tailwind again. Or Roost. That works too. But he's never gonna get his uh, Sturdy back when I got him burned, so... Uh, let's go for a little spike here. There we go. Goes for Tailwind. That does... I don't, I don't see how he's going to be able to use it. We shall see. We shall see. I'm going to go for another spike. Pressure him a little bit. I guess this could be a way. Is he going to have Electro Ball? With <laughs> Electro Ball with... Uh, with Tailwind. Is that how this is going to work? Well, if he does... 
I'm going to rotate him, hopefully, as a death fodder. Thunder Cage? Okay. This might be my opportunity. Go for the switcheroo. Please stay in. He might just go and do Among Us, but he could Vault Switch. He could Vault Switch. This is my chance. Let's go for it. Uh, if I get the lagging tail on this Reggie Alecki, that's gonna be a sight to see. Yes! 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 Now he has the slowest Reggie Alecki in the existence with the lagging tail. That is incredible. And I got the life orb from him. Hmm. Life Orb Skarmori? I don't even want to risk it. I think I'm gonna just, uh... You turn out and go into probably Victini. That did 1%. Oh, yes, I'm... I thought, like, wait! He doesn't have the Rocky Helmet, but now, now I take Life Orb damage. Alright, in comes the Victini. As he goes for Defog. Okay, that's fine. I... Hmm... Do I just go for U-turn expecting the Incineroar? It is quite obvious that he's gonna go into that, so... To get the Intimidate. Yep! So I get off a Choice Bandit U-turn, which does a good 20%. Which means... Skarmori is at 75. Hmm... I think I need to just go into Obstagoon. No way around it. And probably go for the close combat. As he goes for the fake out, of course. He's gonna get his lefties, he's gonna get everything he wants. And he's gonna go back into Skarmory. How much does this do? 27. Still not enough. Hmm. Next time I come in, I might not be so lucky. Hmm. What if I go into Chandelure and I go for the Fire Blast? What if I go into Klefki and set up those uh, spikes once again? I think that's a good plan. I can pressure him to uh, defogging later on. That would definitely benefit me. But that Incineroar is definitely an issue. Reggie Alecki, however, not anymore. So I'm gonna set up a spike. Helps against this Incineroar, Among Us, Crocodile, everything. Oh, look who it is! Look who it is! Do I just... Hmm, should I just go for Play Rough? Then I could take him out with uh, my Life Orb Whimsy God later on. Now, I'm gonna set up a Spike, because he's probably gonna go for the... Uh, Vault Switch, most likely. He's so slow! Goes for the Thunder Cage. Okay. Just gonna uh, trap me in. Does he have Protect or is he. I'll go for the player up because I wanna get a little bit of damage, so I should be guaranteed to uh, knock him out with anything later on. So, Klefki did its job. Still has a. Uh, was able to set up those spikes. Hmm. Let's go into Big Teeny. And this time around, I'm gonna just go for the... Now I'm just gonna go for it. It's Joyce Bandit. Joyce Bandit. And then... As he goes into Salamence. Okay. Also has Intimidate. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Look at that damage! Look at that damage! I'm not going to Whimsy God potentially as a death fodder. As he goes into Crocodile. Okay. He's leftovers. My. This is max speed. Life Orb Moonblast! Ooh! Go for it! Ah, oh, he doesn't knock him out! 
It doesn't, but he doesn't knock me out. Um, there's no point to encore. Guess I'm. Guess I'm just gonna go for Moonblast. Get a little bit of damage in onto Skarmory. That's actually going to help. But he still has all his six Pokemon left, so. There is that. I guess I'll just need to pressure him with the uh, Victini. Mm. Although, like, this Incineroar, it's an issue. It is. I don't think I can take it out in time, even with these uh, spikes up. I think my best win condition is uh, for him to uh, lose in a timeout. But now he's gonna knock off. Right. Am I going to win? Nope. He managed to select his move. Good. What do I sack? I think I'm gonna sack Obstacoon. Although he might. There we go. He might have gone for the, um... Hmm... Do I still go for recreate? Do I want to go for ball strike? I think I need to recreate because if he goes into Crocodile. Nope. I'm a ball strike. And it doesn't even come close! Man, but now he's in a range where Chandelor may be able to take him out. Crocodile is uh, leftovers, so but I, I cannot knock my I cannot lock myself into a move that would um, allow me to knock everything out. So oh, he goes into Regieleki. That's a poor choice. I can just knock you out because you have a lagging tail. That's the one thing you, you cannot really do. And now it goes into Chandelier, which does force a spore, and there's nothing I can do about it. Hmm. I'm Specs. All I need to do is land some Fire Blasts. And if he's gonna defog, I might get a first turn wake up. Let's get it. Yes! I get it! And I land! I land Fire Blast! Knock him out! And Incineroar goes down. After the hazards. And I win! That was intense. Let us look for... One... More... Match. Ooh. Zeraora did so, Umbreon. This is a really cool looking team. Oh man, I'm gonna trick that did so. This is such a cool team because you have like this, all these weird tricks, but they kind of work. Although like Regieleki is definitely a problem, so... If I was to use this team again, I know it was made as a joke, as a fun thing, so there is that. But uh, like, it, it kind of also has some potential. So... <laughs> I'll just lead with Victini. He leads with the Rotom Heat. Hmm. Tentacruel? Skarmory? When in doubt, recreate! <laughs> 73%. That is a lot of damage. And now he's gonna go into Tentacruel. But, it's nice. Get a good amount of damage on this uh, Rotom Heat for later on, so. Then. He's gonna go into Zeraura. Kinda like the same problem as with um, Regieleki. No real switch ins. I can try to go into Whimsic God, which might work. Ah! He gets rid of my lagging tail. I could encore him. Is he gonna stay in though? 
Does he have some plans? I don't think he's gonna stay in. Are you Rocky Helmets? Nope. Probably leftovers would be my guess. Hmm. I could go into Rotom. He doesn't have. Oh, wait. He does have an electric type immunity. I'll go into V Create. When in doubt. And there we go. Well, I can still bring him down to sturdy, so might as well. What are you going to do about it? Set up Stealth Rock. That's always an option. I'm just gonna go for it again. Knock out the Skarmori, that's nice. Although, like, don't have, de don't have Defog and a couple of things weak to uh, Stealth Rock, so that always sucks. What can you do about it? Mm, I feel like this is a... Uh, I can sack Whimsicott anyway, but I feel like this is a part where you wall switch. So, there we go. And I could still trick the uh, Ditto with Prankster. Hmm. In comes the Tentacruel, which is probably going to... Set up toxic spikes or something. No rocky helmet, at least. Or he might knock off. I still cannot ball strike as long as the uh, Zera Aura is around. I'm not going to Obstacoon if he knocks off. That's bad, but I'm willing to take the risk. He goes for Ice Beam. Luckily, he doesn't freeze me. Does freeze, by the way, activate guts? I guess it technically would. <laughs> but you just wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, and he's got Black Sludge, so if I can get rid of it, that's excellent. And he's running a lot of speed. Oh man, I could have knocked him out if I went for the facade. Wasn't really expecting to do so much. Mm. I'm going to Whimsicott. I think I can take a Scald. And since he doesn't have his item anymore, he does get the burn. So I'm pretty much done. Although I could U-turn here. No. I think it's best to uh, take out the Tentacruel if I can. Okay, goes into Rotom. Get a special attack drop, that's good. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack this thing. Then it's gonna be a double down. Hmm. I hope he's gonna go into Ditto. Nope, goes into Umbreon. Hmm, well... I think a switcheroo is good. Get rid of his item. Oh, wait! It's priority! No! What is he gonna pass to? Tentacruel. Yep, nope! Not on my watch! I completely forget. I forget these things. It goes into Umbreon. But I can use it, use this time to uh, set up some spikes. That could definitely help. He's not doing anything to me, so. While I can't really damage him, it's fine. But he can't really do much with Zera Aura either. Hmm. Plasma face, I mean, that would do a lot, I guess. But I can get up all these layers of spikes. But this is a shame I cannot switch a ruin. But I'll run like, what's the other ability? Magician? Plefki? To counter these pesky uh, <laughs> dark types? I'm just gonna go all in. But I kind of still feel like I want to uh, save my uh, Klefki so I can I can trick the Ditto. So I can hopefully outspeed him that way. And he's going for the foul play. I think I'll go into Rotom. Gotta trick you somehow, right? Let's go for it. This trick will not fail. As he goes for Toxic. Well, that's good. That's good. It means... 
Hmm. He might still go into Zera Aura. So I think I'm a uh, Hydro Pump. So I'm gonna get some good damage. Okay, he's heavy duty boots, so. That doesn't. Spikes don't work at all. Does he knock me out with Plasma Fist? I don't really have switch ins, do I? Hmm. Rotom's really not that useful. Yep, goes for Plasma Fist. Knocks me out. Hmm. Do I want to trick him? Is that my best option? Is it sad that it's my best option? Does Chandelure take a hit? Oh, he can transform into me. Do I need to trick this thing and then stall out? I don't think I can stall him out. I think I'm probably just gonna lose this, uh, Zera Aura. Victini goes down. I'll go into Chandelure. Maybe I can bluff that I'm, uh, Scarfed or something. I could Hex. No, oh, but the Umbreon is not... I didn't get the trick off that I was talking about. Ooh, I live! I live! I barely live! But he didn't have a boosting item, so I thought I would have a good chance. So Chandelure was kind of like my best option there, so... Uh... Mm. If I go for Shadow Ball... Do I get enough damage where I can knock him out with Klefki? Because I feel like if I'm gonna have a chance, I'm gonna need him... Is he gonna be able to reverse sweep me with Scarf Foul Play? But if I transform him into... No, because I'm gonna... I'm gonna trick him. Alright. Foul play? Or do I go into obstacle? Maybe I would actually go down. After the hazards. I'm gonna go down to the burn. That is perfect. And I can go into Klefki and force him di force his ditto to transform into me. And I can trick away his choice scarf. <gasps> How fast? 190. So with a scarf, if he's 190, is he still f he's not faster, is he? But I could still, like, switcheroo his, uh, scarf. Just in case. And he's gone. Okay, this match was... <laughs> it was fun, but it was kind of so short, so... I take it back again. I never know when it's the end. One more match. If it's a short one, then it's a short one. But it's a Sun team, so it's probably gonna be a short one. Um... I think my best option is to try to keep Whimsicott safe and then trick the uh, Venusaur with the lagging tail. That's the only way I can outspeed him, so... Don't wanna... I think I might want to trick the Torkoal this time around. Oh! Oh, look at you! Looking fancy. He's probably banded. I'm banded. I'm gonna predict him to win a speed tie and you turn out into Torkoal, okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, he could be Scarfed, but he's got a Venusaur, so I'm thinking he's like banded so he can destroy everything. So, <laughs> I predict him to win the speed tie, go for the U-turn, go into Torkoal, get him the choice band instead. So he cannot do his uh, usual shenanigans. And I get his Heat Rock. And now I can spam uh, Bolt Strike for a little bit. Do some damage. 
see what he locks himself into. I mean, it's gonna be Stealth Rock, right? So maybe, I don't know. I'll go for Ball Strike here. And then you turn on the next turn. Or maybe even go for V Create. I mean, do I get a KO with V Create? In the sun? What would he go into? I know he's locked into Stealth Rock, so I could just spam this move. Yeah, might as well. Goes into Latias. In the sun? Hmm? 71%. And I don't see leftovers, so... Might be choice. Oh, wait, he's gonna go for Mystical Fire. Nope, he doesn't. Hmm. I'd say you're... You have to be Specs. What is he gonna go into? Hmm. Spikes would definitely help. I could also foul play if he goes into something like Victini. Would he dare? I'm gonna take a risk. I can get some good damage anyway. So let's go for the foul play. There's so much to the choice bandit <laughs> Um, He's at 70s, so I don't think he's gonna go for uh, Eruption. But I'm gonna go into Rotom. He's gonna go for Lava Plume. Hmm. And I think... I'm probably gonna go into Chandelure and fry something with a Fire Blast. Especially with the Latias down so low. I uh, should be able to do so. And if he goes into Venusaur, that'd actually be great. Yes! Alright, it's time for the Lagging Tail. Time for the story of the Lagging Tail. Because otherwise, this thing is gonna 6-0 six, six my entire team. There we go. That's a nice gift for ya. How do you feel now? A little bit slow? Hmm. He's probably gonna go back into, uh... <laughs> it, it, not really. It was meant to counter Christmas. So, let's go for the Not Choice Bandit Recreate! And I can still uh, take you out. And now whenever the... Uh, Torkoal, I mean the Venusaur comes in, it's not gonna be able to outspeed me, so... That's pretty nice. Should I lower my defenses more? I mean, if he switches into something... How much did the Bolt Strike do earlier? It did exactly 22. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Gotta go for the recreate. And I could still use Victini, maybe. I don't know. It gets outsped by everything. He's got Sucker Punch. You got Shadow Sneak. And once I come in, I lose more health due to uh, Stealth Rock, so I don't know. It's gonna be a tough one. Even though I got the Venusaur crippled. This is not gonna be easy. Please go into Venusaur. Nope, he's smart, goes into Latias. Is he gonna predict me to go into Klefki this time around? I mean, Vixini is kinda dead anyway, so... Might as well stay in. But I, I, I'm still going with the prediction that you're, uh, choice specs. But if he goes for Mystical Fire... I do have a couple of drops, so... Even that is iffy if I can live... No, in, in the sun, no way. 44. It should do 44. So... Yeah. But I don't dare to switch into Chandelure. I think that's gonna be one of my key players after Victini goes down. And probably also the Obstagoon. That I need to take out the Bisharp. His Victini is gonna be tough. And the Mimikyu. So what's it going to be? Thunderbolt. Alright. Hmm, is he choice? Now he doesn't have uh, Torkoal anymore, at least. But I do think he is choice. Hmm, spikes. 
might help me with the Victini. I'm gonna go for one spike here. As he goes into Venusaur. Oh, so slow, Venusaur. He should go for a Weather Ball while he has it. If he goes for Earth Power, bravo to you. Sludge Bomb. Eh, kinda bravo. That's a, that's a good move. Hmm, and now I can outspeed you. Do I go for the Shadow Ball though? Let's risk it! Go for the Fire Blast! Choice Specs! Knock out the Venusaur, no problem! And now at least the Sun is gone. But my Chandelure... Also pretty much in the same spot as Victini earlier. It's almost as good as dead. And now in comes the Mimikyu. I just have to Fire Blast him. He's gonna SD and probably... Win. Ooh, goes for the player off and... Ah, I really needed that to land. <laughs> that is a devastating miss. That is a devastating miss. Um... Goes for the Shadow Sneak. Play rough. Do I go into Rotom? If he... Hmm... I think I'm gonna go into Rotom and maybe if he goes for the... Uh... I need to go... Maybe I should trick him. But I think I need my... I might need my Scarf against the uh, Latias with his specs and the Victini. Yep. Need to break the Disguise. But that miss, that, that's... That's devastating at this stage of the game. Like, I really needed that uh, thing gone, so... Goes into Klefki. I could activate my ability now. But he's just gonna go for a Draco Meteor, so... And now he's gonna go for... Um, Mystical Fire, but that is alright. I can Foul Play. Ooh, he goes into Victini! How much does this do? Oh, 51! That's good, that's good. Um, 190. Victini is... 328. This is... My way to outspeed it. Hmm. And now... Latias is at 15. Hmm. I could take him out with the Rotom. I'm looking at my Scarf Rotom. Spike. Do I need another Spike? For the Bisharp. I have no switch-ins. Do I sack Obstacoon or do I sack uh, Klefki? I think I'm gonna sack Klefki here. Yes. And then... I could go into Obstacoon. But I think Rotom is better. Because I can... Max Special Attack, minus one. Wall Switch should take him out. And if he switches out, I can go into Obstacle and activate my Guts that way. And I think I'm just gonna... If he goes into... Would he go into Mimikyu? Can I knock him out at 29%? 418 attack. I think I can. Yep. Black glasses. But now he's gonna go back into Victini. I think I just need to lock myself into Thunderbolts and kind of just hope for the best. I mean, this sucks. Oh, wait. 320. Uh, he's gonna go for... 
I think if anything, I need to hope that he misses play rough. Maybe I need to hope for two misses. Yep. Yeah, he's just gonna take me out. This sucks. Because otherwise... What, he has it 15%. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because... Like... I mean, he, he can just go for Shadow Sneak, even. Yeah, he doesn't need to predict, because... Yeah. Hmm. This is really unfortunate, because the... If I didn't miss that one move... <laughs> the the freaking ability disguise would be gone but because I missed I lose this match so that's a bit unfortunate but that was that was a fun match I managed to slow down the Venusaur with the uh, lagging tail and everything and it is part of Pokemon you know it's the thing when you're running low accuracy moves there there's gonna be bound to be a time when you, uh, when it's gonna cost you but now it was just kind of the most uh, unfortunate moment. And I don't know. It probably didn't help anyway, because he did have the... I mean, yeah. You can always go what if, what if. Because he would have been able to shadow sneak me anyway. But then again, game probably would have played differently if I managed to uh, break the su uh, su uh, sub or the disguise and uh, pressure him more. But yeah, what can you do? Hacks is part of the game, and this was definitely a fun game. So cool to uh, slow down a Venusaur with the... Uh, lagging tail and be able to outspeed it despite the uh, sun and chlorophyll so uh, this was definitely a fun team so thank you everybody so much for watching and uh, happy new year once again let's hope for the best and uh, make this year into the best year we possibly can so thank you again and until next time this is Spade rambling and signing out Peace.